When you're building a no-code application, have you ever found a scenario where you want to filter your forms by information about the logged in user? This can come in super handy. Hi, I'm Dan Lehman from automationhelpers.com and we're a partner of Softer. Now let me give you an example of where this could come in handy. So we have a Softer project management application here and let's say we have different clients and we want those clients to request projects of us. But the problem that happens is if they click on this project owner field, they're able to see all the information about all the users in the application. We don't wanna do that. We wanna say only if the people work at your same company, those are the people that you can choose from. So we want to send a filtered list based on information about the company that I work at as a logged in user. If you haven't used software for building your no-code applications, you can get started using the link in the description below. Now to accomplish this, we're actually going to use software with fill out forms, and we're gonna use just a little bit of JavaScript in the middle to tie these two together. The great part about this is that you can just copy and paste this code. You don't have to know anything about coding yourselves. So what we've done is we've taken the templates, we've taken the code, and we've put this in the link in the description below. So you can just copy and paste this information in. Now, the idea behind all of this is that in Airtable, there's a unique record identifier that represents every single record in your application. So in this case, we're looking at our team members. These are going to be our users inside of software. And so for each one of these records, they have their own user ID. Now, if you haven't done this before, you can create your own formula field and you just have to put in record ID and that's going to display that information. We've also added a linked record here to represent each of the accounts that these people work at. And so what we're going to do is we're going to log in with this Victoria and we want Victoria to be able to see these other users here that work at the same account that she does. Now we also want our account ID, that unique record identifier for each of these accounts to display here. How do we do that? Well, on our accounts, if we click over here, we can do the same thing. We add that formula field and show the record ID. And I'm calling this account ID for our field name. Then over on our team record, what I'm doing is I'm just adding a lookup field here. So we're referencing that record ID of the account. We're pulling from the linked account and showing that record ID here for our account ID. So Softer is going to be our web application that our users interact with. Airtable is the backend database that holds all of our information. And then we're going to use Fillout to help us with these filtered forms. I'm not gonna show you everything in this video about Fillout, but I am gonna show you the important pieces so that we can handle the filtering. So once you've set up your form and connected it to Airtable, all of these fields are pulling from Airtable. Anytime we submit a new record, this is going to create that project record back inside of Airtable. And because software is integrated with Airtable, software is going to see that data too, so we can display those new projects in a list. The first thing that we need to do is go to our settings. And in our settings, there's an area for URL parameters. And you just need to add a new one here and call it user ID. And if you want to, we can give it a value. If you go back into Airtable, any of these user IDs you could use as a sample. So you want this to just match up with one of these so that we can use it for testing purposes. Once we've added that value, you can publish your form. And then we're going to go back into integrations here and click on Airtable, which we already have integrated. And from here, we're going to do something called pre-fetching records. What are we doing here? Well, the idea behind this is that we're taking the user ID of that person inside of Softer. We're going to pass it via URL parameters into Fillout. We're going to capture that URL parameter of that ID, and then we need to pull back information about that person's contact record or user record. Because when we get that user's ID, remember this is just a random combination of letters and numbers that makes it unique. This doesn't have information about their name or their email address or what company they work at. So this prefetch step is saying, hey, based on that unique identifier, now we're going to actually retrieve that whole record with all the juicy data that it has in it. So we can add a new prefetch record here. And in this case, we're going to tell it, yes, we're pulling from the same base. We're going to use that team table that we have here. This is our users that we have. So we're referring to them as users and user ID, but in the actual base itself, it's called team. And then here we have all of the different fields from that team record. And so we're going to pull from ID. So we're going to say if the ID of that record equals, if it matches, and then we click over here 
and we go into our URL parameters, and now we can select that user ID that we just set up as a URL parameter a moment ago. Now, if you put in that test value that we talked about, then we can test this fetch, and it should give us an example and actually pull back that record here. So we can see that the status is 200. It was able to retrieve our data okay. And we can see here's all that information about this user that we have about Victoria. So we know that this works in theory to be able to pull back the information we need. And then we have to actually talk to software to say, how do we pass that information into fill out? And then the last thing we need to do is go to that project owner field. And that project owner field connects to this team record. So if I'm on my projects, I've got project owner, that's a linked record back to the team table to our users that we have. So if we come into those edit filters here, these are the different fields that we have on our team record. And here's where we're saying, if the account ID, so remember back inside of Airtable, if we're looking at our team, we've got the account ID. If this account ID matches what we have coming from our user record, this is our fetch step. We go into here and if we scroll down, we can find our account ID. So if the account ID of that record matches the account ID of the user that we just prefetched. So remember, Victoria is going to be the logged in user. And we're saying if her account ID matches the account ID of these other people that work at her company, then those are going to be the users that we can show in this dropdown. At this point, make sure that you publish your form and we can head back inside of Softer. And what I've done here is I've added a new page and I've titled this new project. So imagine this is going to be a form that opens up and contains our fill out form. And right now you don't actually see anything on the page. So let's talk about what happens here. You're going to click this plus button to add a new block. And you're going to go ahead and search for custom. And we're going to add a custom code block here, which is going to allow us to write a little bit of JavaScript and be able to embed the fill out form that we have. Once you grab the code, you can paste it in. And what you need to do is look at your fill out form and your fill out form has a unique identifier for this form. So yours is going to be different than mine, but you need to copy this piece. And once you go back into softer, you're going to replace where it says const form ID. You're going to leave the quotes that we have here and replace this value. So this is going to be where your unique identifier for your form goes. And what we're doing is we're building the URL of this fill out form and we're concatenating, we're adding on here the user ID and we're capturing the values of the logged in user. And then we're doing a little embed code here to be able to embed our fill out form. Now, again, I don't expect you to understand what's happening in the code here. You don't really need to, but we'll go ahead and publish this so it's now available. Even though in Software Studio, this displays as blank, like there's nothing there, this is going to look different when we actually load the application. So when we load this URL of our new project, we can see that this actually loads our fill out form. Now I'm going to do a right click here and I'm going to inspect and this is opening up my Chrome Dev Tools here. If you wanna see what information you can get about your logged in user, remember we're doing something really simple. We're just getting the user ID here. But I did do a console log here. So if you want to check out, you can see all of these different values about the logged in user that you're able to capture. So this might be helpful for other use cases. And I'm showing you the prefetch example because I think it can be useful in a lot of examples, but you would be able to go direct if you want to and just pass the account ID without even having to do the prefetch step. The other thing that we're doing is we're doing a console log for the actual URL that we've constructed. So if you're experiencing any problems, come in and check to see if this data is printing correctly and you should be good to go. Now let's test out and see if this is filtering the way we need it to. So I'm currently logged in as Victoria. And if I go ahead and press the plus button for the project owner, then this should load those three users that we talked about, Judith, Mildred, and Victoria, who all work at the same company. We don't see the other users who work at different companies. Now this form looks okay, but when we embed it like this, I think there's a better way. I typically like to expose this information as a modal. So if we're back in Softer Studio, on our projects list on the homepage, you can see there's that add button. That's where we opened up the default Softer form. Let's go to our actions here, and I'm going to actually delete this add one, and let's create a new one. We're going to open a page, and 
Let's change that label, we'll change it to add. And we can choose the page, the new project one that we just created. And let's choose to open this in a modal. And then let's go ahead and publish our changes. And now we can access this from our homepage. We see our whole list of projects and we can click to add a new project. Now we have access to our fill out form inside a softer and it looks pretty native to the application. I've added some information in. We'll choose Judith as our project owner and we'll go ahead and submit this. And now we can see that project has synced into Airtable because fill out's connected with Airtable and we can see that project inside a softer and interact with it as well. I hope this has been helpful to see how we can use the power of softer with fill out to do some really powerful form filtering. Get started with softer today by using the link in the description below.